Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I've had lots and lots of requests asking if I had any more ideas for crafts that you could do with a child to get them away from that screen or that television and into something, especially on wet days. Well, I've got a wonderful upcycling project or recycling project using an old alarm clock. And I did notice that you can actually still buy these as new, but I had, I don't even know where these came from, but this design concept was something that I did with my father when I was a little girl and it has stayed with me for years and years and years and it was such a perfect project and I just thought well that could be a really lovely thing for an adult to do with or a child or a child could be given all the components and they could go off and do it themselves. Now so you need an, to recycle a clock, an old alarm clock, and you need to take the workings out and you need to keep the bit that goes at the back because that's going to be our backdrop. You also need a lovely image. Now, I just found this was just a, I think it was a, an old birthday card, but I really liked how it had that little, it's got a little mouse there and it's got its lovely little tree. And I thought that'd be quite a nice little backdrop for what we're going to do today. I've also got a little baby, but it could be child interest specific you could have little animals but I just had this little baby on hand and thought that that would be perfect and then you need a few little embellishments like these are little things that go into your hair and I've just cut those down and I just loved it with the little sparkly diamantes and the little pearl and the colorway was quite nice I've also got a little butterfly that brooch that's broken that I thought would be really lovely with and a little girl would possibly like that. I've got some, some lovely little sort of um, foam roses and these are little millinery flowers that I thought would go, work as well. Plus I've got a little bit of blossom if I decide to change my mind. Now the other thing that you need is air dry clay which is what this is, a super light clay. And that there, just need, you need like a good handful of this. So once all your workings are out, just get this like so. I don't know that I need all of that. And I'll put that away before I go too far, otherwise it dries out. And that there can just be stuck down into the base. I'm going to go really quick here, so I'm not going to be neat and super, super neat and tidy, but that will be fine for now. And the great thing about this is it will dry off and the stuff that I put into it, fingers crossed, should stay there. So it's just to make like a little hilly bit at the, or a little bit of ground. I'm actually envisaging that this will be a little baby floating on a cloud of pink. So you could um, embellish down there if you wanted to, but I don't think that that matters. And as you're going along, just make sure that you have sort of kind of got it centered. Now with my little baby, I'm just going to get her and take her to uh, the front so she can just sit into there like she's like sinking into her little pink cloud. And then with, I can either use a little bit of that or I might just stick these little pins in so you're going to need enough depth so that when you put these in that oops I'm working back to front now so that they actually do stay they're not you know that they're in there firm so it needs to be deep enough so that it does that now a couple of these little millinery flowers I thought would be quite nice so that it looks like she's in a lovely little garden and I'll just put a little bit to there and bring a little bit over to Oops, that's a bit high, a bit too high. I want that a little bit lower than that. Hopefully, oops, my scissors aren't working very well. I'm going to have to take my baby girl out because I need to, but you get my drift of where I'm going here. That can just sit into there like that, like a little tree. So that there is all ready to go, and you can put as much into this as what you want to. Now, with your the clock base, just making sure that I've got it right. So that's the, where the little hands and winders used to be. So onto here, it's just a matter of getting your little picture, just laying that down and then cutting it around. And then just a little bit of glue around the side, like so. And then that can be pushed onto there like that. 
You could use double-sided tape, but I want to actually see that little mouse that's on that little, st its little swing, so that whoever's looking into this can be delighted with the, oh my goodness, there's a little mouse into there. Now, if you wanted to, you could perhaps even stick a little butterfly onto there, which I'm going to do right now, because I just feel like that would be quite nice to have that little butterfly into that tree. And when you're putting these on, just make sure that when you put this at the back of your clock, that it's not not going to get hooked into there. Right, wait until that's onto there, and then it's just a matter of. Uh oh, uh oh, I've got to make sure that everything's straight. And then you just need to put a little bit of glue around the outside there to stick it into place. And if you wanted to, you could perhaps embellish the outside a little bit more with a little bird on the outside or whatever you and your child wanted to do as you enjoyed the craft project. I think that is a fabulous idea. I just love it. And it's quick and easy to do. I did it quick and easy, but do you know on a wet day you could make this project go on and on and on. So there we have an upcycling, recycling craft project for a child. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as you enjoy doing something like this with a child that is very dear to your heart. I'll see you again another day. Thank you.